Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Very excited today. Prototype number one of the Easy RFID module. Now, we've got several revs coming up, all will be for sale. For those of you who don't know what RFID is, um, you may have used it actually in your day-to-day -day life. I use one when I go to work every day. You see these tags? They have a little microchip in them. That being said, you might notice that there's a little antenna here. It's a coil of wire that goes back into our decoder module. Now what that does is it does two things. One, it emits it emits a, uh, a kind of an, think of an AC voltage into the air, which is coupled with your RFID card. So it acts to power the chip in your RFID card, and when the RFID card is charged, it sends a uh, an encoded signal back through the antenna and into your uh, decoder, which is right here. Now that sounds a little bit weird. It does two things. It's really, really neat. It's an amazing technology. It's used a lot in uh, door locks and whatnot. And actually, you can use this device as a door lock. Now, uh, there's really two main kinds of RFID out there. They work on different frequencies. This works on 125 kilohertz. Uh, kilohertz uh, cards, which are which you can find for extremely cheap. This, when it goes up for sale within the week, will come with four different cards. It will come with two, uh, sorry, four white cards. I might throw in one of these if you're nice. But anyway, what happens is, is in this prototype, you take any, any, 125 uh, kilohertz cards that you can find or tags, and tag they come in all shapes and sizes. And what you do is you power it on. There's an initialization. There's four different relays. What I can do is I can take any random card. And what happens is there's a unique ID on every on every card. And there's an address. There's uh, all sorts of different stuff. Check some. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll press the first program button. Won't do anything. I'll put the card down. Now, as you'll know, you might what what happened? I'll, 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 now it's been programmed. It's been programmed. So relay one turns on for five seconds, then turns off. It's actually related to switch four. This is or sorry, switch three, switch three, switch four, switch two, and switch one. But this button corresponds to this relay. This button corresponds to this relay. This button corresponds to this relay, and this button corresponds to this relay. So. That's been programmed. No other RFID card will activate this specific relay. If I use another RFID card that's not programmed, what happens is the RFID decoder will flash, but nothing's going to happen. So let's program in one of these tags, which just happens to be a key, a key, uh, keychain tag. I'll press the second switch. The beep tells you, okay, it's been programmed. Sorry. These ones don't offer the greatest range these cards do, which is why the kit comes with these better cards. So anyway, again, I'll do that again. Five seconds. I'll do another card. Switch th for switch three. Program easy program. This is easy RFID. Most stuff you most RFID stuff you have to program. You have to interface with your PC. This is awesome. Easy to use. All you need is 12 volts to the input. Everything's protected on a 5 volt regulator. The relays are 12 volts. Relay three. Now I'm using LEDs to show you because you just keep hearing clicks. That's all you hear is clicks. Now I can keep, I can keep that relay on. Think of a retriggerable monostable multi vibrator. Every time I put my card in there, it will stay high for another five seconds. So anyway, that's card number three. Let's take another card. Last card. Switch four. Pop. So let's do it in order. 
But first, I'll just take a rather random card. That's right. Reacts to it. Doesn't do anything. So I'll take Relay 3. And I'll do Relay 2. Relay 4. Or sorry, Relay 1. This one's Relay 4. <laughs> And uh, just to show you again, that one is Relay 4, and this one is Relay 1. That's another thing you can do, is uh, you can interrupt you can interrupt when one relay's on by using one of the other pre-programmed cards. It's pretty neat. First prototype, ready to go. Uh, great, you can interface the relays with the Sonoid. You can do so much stuff with this. Uh, we've got uh, versions coming out that just have IOs of the output. Uh, rather, sorry, just outputs, so you can interface with your PIC, your TTL project, your PIC project, your Arduino, your STAM project, really easy to use. You don't have to interface with your computer, anyone can use it. You have a 12 volt source at the input, and you're golden. That's all you need. You got your, it comes with your antenna, your antenna plugs directly onto your decoder board, your RFID board, then the RFID board is plugged directly onto our uh, interface board, and then you've got everything you need. You've got your three relays, your or sorry, four relays, your four terminal blocks. Very easy to use. Any questions you guys have, don't hesitate to ask. When this is listed within seven days, it will have a lot more information. It'll have a schematic. It'll have the PCB layout. Unfortunately, we don't offer this as a kit because it's a bit more complicated. But really, it's an awesome project. You can actually put this behind a little piece of plastic. To protect the uh, to protect the antenna, which comes in a in a uh, an ESD bag. Anyway, I've prattled on for a long time. This video isn't even a demonstration video. This is nothing. I'm going to interface these with uh, AC devices, the the relays. I'm going to show you so much more. But I'm very 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 happy with it. So. Thanks for watching, everyone.